Hello everybody, my name is Anna and welcome to my channel, Anna Always Reading. Um, well, I'm back. I know it's been like two months, but I recently moved, as you can tell from the different background, white walls, no longer like, I think it was purple, but I moved so life's been a little bit hectic and it's a new area. So I'm now living in a construction zone, so any background noise is like trucks dropping, like debris and stuff, so... Don't worry about it, but anyways, today I'm here to bring you a review of the book The Lovely Bones by Alice Siebold. I'm changing the format of my reviews to be more like another booktuber that I really admire, Hales and Hearts New I See. I'll link her channel in the cards thing because her reviews are so much more concise and put together and that's what I want to be, somebody who properly reviews books and talks about how they feel. So I'm going to break it down to several different formats. Number one is how I felt about this book overall. Overall, I didn't like this book. Um, I gave it two out of five stars on Goodreads because it felt like it was so all over the place. Like certain aspects and elements of this book were really good and they kind of stood out to me. But certain parts, I was like, I don't like this. I don't like how the nature of the book was. I don't like how the story flowed along. It didn't feel very put together and I just didn't feel it. So. Another aspect that I want to touch on is the plot of this book. This book follows a girl, her name is Susie. She was at the, the, in the beginning of the book, she was murdered by somebody her family knew, a neighbor, but they weren't very close. So it follows Susie watching her family over the years for heaven. Number one, the book took place over a longer span of years than I thought it would. Um, I thought it would be like five years, but it was pretty much their family's like pretty much their whole lifetime and I was shocked and like that it was going that deep because her in the beginning her sister starts at I think like eight years old by the end she's like 22 so that's a long span of years and I just didn't realize that that would be happening but the book was kind of strange because as everybody in her life changed and grew older and older Susie was still the girl the eighth that she was when she was brutally murdered so everybody else is maturing and growing as people but Susie was still like that immature little girl which is understandable because I guess when you die you're like frozen in time but it was there's this disconnect going on and there's so much happening in her family down below on earth because they were so touched and impacted by her impacted by her death that it was so much to go on at this this was a fictional book which i didn't realize i thought it was young adults number one so this I, this is one of the first fictional books i've ever read um like as now i'm a teenager i read the help when i was like eight but it just didn't resonate with me as a person i know a lot of people like really truly felt it because the book also touched on the pain that her parents felt as her as with their daughter dying and I'm not a parent myself obviously so I don't know how it feels to love somebody that deeply so that just didn't flow really well with me another part that I didn't really like was the writing in this book Alice Siebold I read like so many people are like this writing like moved me and it touched me but the way the sentences like flowed the, the way the sentences like were put together it wasn't really like a slow gentle stream the way that this book should have been written it was kind of like a jerky like white rotter rafting thing i don't know what she was doing i don't know where she thought that this was gonna go down but i really didn't like the way that the sentence was put together and the writing overall it was slightly confusing like the first the prologue of the book was susie looking at a snow globe and like it being like the perfect suburbia right and that I it was very symbolic, but I didn't realize that until after when I read like the reader's guys questions like what does this symbolize and I was like It's supposed to symbolize anything. I just thought it was like Something pretty because that part was written really nicely, but everything after that was kind of not even kind of, It was very confusing to me I guess I'm not mature enough to understand the topic and the subject matter of this book, which is probably like that's probably why I didn't like it as much as I should have but that's also something that like really upset me and some things that I really 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 wanted to happen just didn't and I realized this book is supposed to be like it's supposed to be about life you know what I mean it's supposed to be like yeah life isn't perfect but certain things still do happen that could still make you happy right but uh, uh, my ships didn't sail that's what didn't happen okay my OTP for this book did not set ship and sail into the sunset or maybe it did but Alice Ebel just didn't carry it on like it could have it was it could have happened 
but it just didn't and I'm like why they were perfect for each other so that leads me into characters the characters in this book were interesting that was like the saving grace of this book for me because I actually enjoyed the characters and if not the characters that their struggles like her father is such a an emotional person because like Susie what I think was daddy's little girl before she died and it, I don't know if I passed away my father would act just like Susie's dad if his little girl passed away or was murdered like in such a brutal fashion so I understood where he was coming from because I know that could be something that happened to me like all the characters were so real and I just understood them because they weren't too perfect. I feel like in certain books, authors always try to make characters seem too perfect. They're just really good people. They're always trying their best, doing the absolute most. But these characters did the most, but in the absolute worst way, you feel. Like Susie's sister, they're not, Susie didn't even really have friends. But the characters that were in the town, they were all very intertwined in certain ways. And their ways that their stories connect interconnected and then detached was really good like that was the best part of the book for me the characters were phenomenal like Ray Ruth her mom Ruth's dad Ray's mother her his father even though his father wasn't even in the book at all he had no lines no appearances but his father really impacted the way the story went along for me personally so I really enjoyed the characters so good on that Susan Siebel the, like, the character driven side of this book was phenomenal phenomenal but overall the other aspects that I've talked about in this video today just couldn't re like the characters couldn't save it man like overall I read this book and I was like huh because I started reading it as an ebook and my friend went and bought it and my friend doesn't read right and then she's like okay take the, my copy and then tell me if it's good so I read it and I'm like this book is mm. And she's not gonna read it now. I don't know what she just bought it and wasted money, I guess. But like this book, I as I said before, I gave it two out of five star. I wouldn't recommend it if you're in like the teenage age bracket, I guess. If you are old enough or like mentally mature, as you can tell, I am not really that mature. Don't read it. But if it really intrigues you, you can go on Goodreads. I'll leave all the links and the author's websites and stuff like down below in the doobly doo. But Thank you for watching my video today. Remember to click that like button and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. All my social medias will be down below if you really want to see my face every single day because you can follow me on Snapchat and, it's, and I'll leave it in down below. I'm on Snapchat every single day. Um, I got that. That's pretty much it. I got Twitter, Wattpad, Goodreads, etc. Remember reading today, reading tomorrow, reading Five ever. I'm never going to do that ever again. Bye.